another video for you with new stories firstly tigray on wednesday tigray will observe martyrs day on the 22nd of june every year tigray commemorates uh, uh, an incident which happened in 1988 Secondly uh, where was PM Abi today almost 48 hours ago hundreds were brutally killed in Vailaga uh, and PM Abi said that his prime uh, priority was to ensure security and safety of uh, civilians where was he today thirdly jawar who has been lately preaching peace unity dialogue to resolve conflicts in ethiopia have you heard anything from him about valaga incident fourthly uh, today ethiopian government announced to start a new operation against those who are involved in valaga incident is it uh, announcement of another operation against ola and uh, will it be will this operation have force behind it or is it just a public stunt lastly eu top official janis linarchic was in tigray today after the completion of his visit he spoke about the situation in tigray what did he say very powerful statement from eu uh, a very strong uh, statement was issued uh, in his talk after the completion of his uh, tigray visit what did he say we'll have a detailed look at uh, Janis Linarchit's uh, talk. Firstly, viewers, uh, on Wednesday, Tigray will observe Martyrs Day. Martyrs of 1988 will be remembered. On the 22nd of June 1988, uh, Ethiopian bombers uh, bombed a town a place uh, where modern day hosen is around 20 30 kilometers away from makale uh, a town came under uh, aerial bombardment and uh, more than 2000 people died in that aerial attack back then uh, tplf eplf uh, were fighting dug and uh, ultimately 1991 uh, they achieved their objectives tplf and eplf and uh, uh, mengistu helmarium government was uh, removed he was overthrown so every year uh, tigrayans commemorate the sacrifices of the martyrs who were killed in 1988 in that uh, brutal bombardment by dug uh, um, uh, fighter jets and bombers uh, and on wednesday programs will be held in tigray Two days ago, Eritreans uh, commemorated uh, uh, their martyr sacrifices. They observe Martyrs Day, and uh, on Wednesday, Tigray will observe Martyrs Day. Uh, today, Tigray President uh, released a message uh, in connection with Martyrs Day. remembering the sacrifices of those who were killed in 1988 second viewers uh, while hundreds have been killed in valaga romia in a brutal attack where is the pm the prime minister of ethiopia who is leading this country uh, pm abi today launched a plantation a drive uh, and he planted uh, seedlings he said that uh, 
uh, every Ethiopian should plant at least 100 seedlings in farming season, ongoing season. Uh, and this is the fourth uh, initiative uh, launched by government. This is the fourth year of this Green Legacy initiative launched by PM Abi's government. And he urged all Ethiopians to plant trees, to plant seedlings. Now, people are criticizing PM Abi. They say that he was uh, seen planting seedlings and uh, uh, people in Vailaga are in dire need of assistance. He should have been there to be with those who have lost their loved ones. Entire families uh, have been killed. Uh, people in mosque were killed, uh, so he should have visited Oromia, Vailaga. But he is planting trees, that shows his priorities. I wouldn't comment what he is doing, I just shared what he is doing. Uh, yes, uh, when you have crisis, you need to take on this crisis with full force. Uh, you should uh, Commit your entire resources to tackle that crisis. That is how you can put an end to the crisis. If you take it lightly, obviously it means that your priorities uh, are somewhere else. Secondly, Jawar Muhammad, who uh, is emerging as a national leader, or is trying to be a national leader in his talks in Europe, in Germany, France, the Netherlands, UK, uh, Sweden, Norway, he spoke for peace. He called for peace, negotiations, dialogue, uh, to put an end to conflicts in Ethiopia. Where is he now? When hundreds have been killed, when US State Department has released a statement, uh, we have seen entire international news outlet, uh, entire international media covering this massacre. No statement from Jawar, no statement from Romo Feldst Congress, no condemnation from OLF, no condemnation from Tegarai, no condemnation from Ogaden National Mission Front. Civilians have been killed. Uh, I will have to say that uh, Ethiopian political parties, politicians, they uh, look at civilian killings through the lens of ethnicity. All should condemn this incident which happened in Valaga because civilians have been killed. Today, it hap it's happening in Valaga. Tomorrow, it can happen in Gondar, in uh, Tigray, in Samra, uh, in Gambala. And it has been happening in some of these places. Tigray has seen that. Gambala too. Amhara as well. So, I think people should rise above their ethnic loyalties and condemn civilian killings. Uh, Jawar is silent so far, viewers. Uh, fourthly, we have a new story about the announcement by Ethiopian government to launch a new operation against those who are involved in Valaga massacre. Who are involved in Valaga massacre? According to the Ethiopian government, Oromo Liberation Army is involved. It means that this new operation is against Oromo Liberation Army. We could see renewed offensive against OLA. That is what government is claiming. Though we saw more than a month ago that Ethiopian uh, federal government, federal forces, regional forces, they launched a joint operation against the Oromo Liberation Army and they claim that OLA uh, had been pushed out of all towns, villages of Oromi. But that did not happen on the ground. Instead, we are seeing an announcement of a new operation against OLA. Is this announcement a public stunt? 
just to appease uh, the people who are angry because of this uh, Valaga incident? Or is Ethiopian, has Ethiopian government decided to launch uh, a new operation with full force against OLA? That remains to be seen. In coming uh, uh, days, we'll be able to uh, brief you about the intensity, the force, the strength of this uh, new operation. Will it be launched? Or is it just uh, a public stunt that remains to be seen? Lastly, viewers, a uh, very important news story. Today, EU sent a very powerful message in support of Tigray. EU's uh, Commissioner for Crisis Management and uh, Humanitarian Aid traveled to Tigray. Obviously, the open government allowed him to visit Tigray. He visited, his name is Janis Linarchic. He was seen with uh, Gaeta Choreda and Dabratsin Gabriel Mikhail, Tigray Fazen too. He visited uh, Makale's uh, either referral hospital. What did he say? He is back from Tigray. He was in Addis Ababa, I think, when he held a press briefing there. And there he spoke for Tigray. He said, much of the blockade is still in place, though there is some improvement in terms of delivery of aid. Yes, trucks mostly carrying food are arriving in Tigray. But much of the blockade is still there. Blockade uh, regarding delivery of cash, fuel, uh, basic services, electricity, banking, telecommunication. Blockade is still there, EU says. Secondly, he says that uh, the cash which is being allowed by Ethiopian government to be delivered to Tigray is not sufficient. Even NGO workers, uh, this cash is not enough for NGO workers, aid workers. Uh, they cannot make both ends meet with this cash. Thirdly, he says, Warehouses in Tigray are full of aid, but the aid could not be distributed because there is no fuel. Now that is what I have been uh, uh, telling you about. That aid is lying in Makale, pending distribution because there is no fuel. Uh, Janis Linarchic confirmed after his visit. That, uh, and we know that uh, a few days ago, uh, an agency said that uh, aid sufficient for around 1 million people is pending distribution in Makale. Uh, it has now been confirmed by EU as well that aid has arrived in Makale, but there is no fuel to send this aid to far off areas like Shiraro, like Shere, uh, uh, like other uh, Tigray far border areas. Uh, he talked about resumption of uh, basic services. He said there must be resumption of uh, banking service, telecommunication service. Tigrayans have suffered a lot, quote unquote. He said Tigrayans have suffered a lot. Now, government should do more. Very uh, powerful words. Uh, uh, were used by uh, Janis Linarchic for the people of Tigray and he is urging the government to put in place some mechanism in Tigray if there are fears that uh, aid or fuel or cash can end up in the hands of Tigray fighters. He said government can uh, put in place some mechanism monitoring mechanism that the aid, the fuel, the cash do not end up in the hands of Tigray fighters and they reach the people who are in need of uh, this aid. Situation could improve after this visit of uh, Janis Linarchis because Ethiopian government is in need of some financial assistance, loans, grants and EU's role is crucial in coming days if Ethiopian government wants uh, 
financial injection. Uh, so that is why uh, I think after this visit, we could see some improvements in Tigray in coming days. Ethiopian government uh, could make some concessions. Uh, we could see some announcements in coming days. Thank you for watching.